Hello and welcome to Space Shark Teaches. I'm Sean, owner and lead developer of Space Shark Studios, and in this series we're going to be teaching Godot. In this lesson, I'm going to be going more in depth about nodes. So first off, just like always, let's load up our 2D platform tutorial. Last time you may remember I made a node 2D and put it in our main scene. Just to be able to start, start fresh, I'm going to delete this by pressing delete on the keyboard and we can start with a blank slate. Go ahead and control S to save our scene. So you might remember this button. This will make a new node. Everything in Godot is considered a node um, and will bring up this create new node menu. You can see over here, we have recently made nodes or recently used nodes, I should say. Um, favorites, if you want to go ahead and favorite a node, as well as a way to search. So let's go ahead and make another node 2D because we're making a 2D scene. So node 2D will be what we use here instead of node 3D, which is for a 3D scene. You can see below this node 2D, these are all the different things that you can add on to a node 2D. So let's go ahead, double click that, and now we have our node 2D here. Like we've done before, we can move it around the scene. We can also move it around like this. This is just a general selection tool. So if you go around, you can click on it. Otherwise, there's nothing to select. You have to find it again. Um, you can also rotate it. So spin it around, around, around in a circle, and that looks bad. So let's undo that. And that's basically it for manipulating a node in your scene. Um, after that, you can add things to nodes. So let's go ahead and just add another node. All right, so now we have two nodes, right? We have a node and a node. You can hold shift and select them both. So what if we wanted to save these off? These are, you know, these are very cool by themselves, but what if we want to go ahead and save this as a scene? So we can save a branch and it'll be just like our main scene before. So we can do node scene, save it. And now if we delete it, anytime we want that node back, we can just go ahead and drag it in. It's back. Now we can actually go into it as its own little scene and edit that as necessary. So we go into the made scene and we also have this little sub scene that we can do anything we want with. And we'll be using that later. This is how you build up complex scenes. So for instance, in the future, we're going to have a player a player will be its own scene, just like this one is, so that no matter which level we're in, we have the same player. Otherwise, we would have to rebuild the player each time. Um, so you'll be seeing more of that as we go into future lessons. That's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching, and this has been Sean with Space Shark Teaches.